Hello everybody and welcome to Legal Studies Unit 4, Area of Study 1, The People and the Australian Constitution, Part 2. The focus of today's video is dot point 3, the significance of Section 109 of the Australian Constitution. This video will only look at one dot point, since dot point 4 is a longer dot point and will require its own separate video. Let's begin by looking at the significance of Section 109. When the law of a state is inconsistent with the law of the Commonwealth, the latter shall prevail and the former shall, to the extent of the inconsistency, be invalid. Ultimately, this means that if a state law is inconsistent with a Commonwealth law, the Commonwealth law is the law that will prevail and the state law, to the extent of the inconsistency, can be deemed invalid. This is significant as it can act as a restriction on state legislative powers. It also ensures that there is a consistent approach to the way inconsistencies in laws in areas of concurrent power are dealt with. And we already looked at concurrent powers. Those are the powers that are shared with the Commonwealth and the states. So the examples we looked at were marriage, divorce and taxation. It is also important to note that section 109 doesn't automatically apply. It applies if the law is challenged in court and the court enforces it. That concludes today's video. I hope that your knowledge of dot point three from unit four area of study one has been consolidated. As always, if you do have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or send me an email. Thank you.